All right, arrays in C. So this is how you create an array in C. You put a name of the array here, and then the number of elements you, the elements you want in this array. So if you do this, then it will give you three slots of memory um, that can contain integer, like this. Um, using an array is really simple. So if you do a bracket and put a number in it, then it will give you the element uh, that can be indexed by that number. So if you do a bracket 1, and then uh, you try to assign 10 to it, then it will uh, put this number into the second slot in this array. Um, so when you try to initialize an array in C, uh, you can also just create an array and then just access each element in this way and then put a number in it. Um, actually, there's an easy way to do it if you know like what for, uh, what numbers you're going to use uh, beforehand. Uh, you can just put braces around here and then put all the elements you need uh, separated by uh, commas and it will just put one, two, three here in this case. All right, so arrays are basically pointers to a chunk of memory. So when we have A here, that's actually, you can think of it as a pointer that's pointing to the first element in this chunk of memory. So what we can do, uh, what we can play with this is we can create a pointer of type integer and then um, assign the value in A into this pointer. And this is actually equivalent to doing this. So we're basically assigning the address of the first element into PA. And if we do this, then what it basically does is it creates a pointer that points to the first element in this array. So but now basically, A and PA, they're doing the same thing. Um, so using pointer arithmetics, we can simply do PA plus 1. That will get us to the second element in the array. And similarly, PA plus 2 will be pointing to the third element. Um, so when we dereference one of these, like let's say we have PA plus 1, and then we try to dereference it, then uh, it's um, obvious that we will get the second element, which is uh, A bracket 1, right? Um, in fact, what C compilers actually do behind the scenes is that whenever it sees a bracket notation like this, A bracket N, then it converts it to this expression. So it's basically the, the address of the first element plus the number that you put in the brackets, and then dereferencing it. So these two are equivalent expressions. One interesting thing you can do, or more like a hack, you can also do a bracket negative one, which doesn't really make sense. What happens there is it just simply converts it into this expression, a minus one, and it will actually, um, so a minus one will point to the element before the first element. So this is bad. You don't want to do this. But yeah, you can just basically um, put anything in the brackets. So now, um, let's say we want to pass this array into a method. Uh, so we basically, let's say we have an array that's named a, and we want to call a function uh, with the argument a. So what would the prototypes of this function look like? So there's a two way to do this. Uh, we can put int array brackets, or we can just do int star array. And these two are equivalent, because arrays are basically a pointer. Uh, C doesn't really care if it's a bracket or a pointer. They're the same thing. Uh, one thing about this uh, that you need to notice is that when we're passing in an array, we're not actually passing in all the elements in the, in the array. We're just passing in the address of the first element. So in the method, we don't really know how many are how many elements are in the array. So we probably want to pass in the size of the array too, like this, so that you don't get out of bounds.